So, you've created a little bit of hair, and now you want to brush it, I guess. Hey guys, welcome back, that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to actually brush or comb hair, which is actually a really, really cool thing you can do, and it feels really satisfying, I don't know why, but... Uh, today, in the last tutorial that I made, I actually made this uh, vertex group type particle hair circle clown looking thing. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll add some more vertices back in the back here. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just select these vertices. Select these vertices back here as well. So we'll grab all those. So it goes, it wraps around his head and I'll just add those to our vertice group right there. And now we have hair going all the way around. <laughs> so now we really have a clown. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things to our particle system. If you didn't take a look at the last video, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description and in the card right now. Go ahead and check that last video out to see uh, exactly how I got here. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in advanced. And we'll scroll on down and we'll add a little bit of random to this hair. Um, and maybe a little bit of rotation. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit. Something like uh, maybe... Uh, well, instead of the rotation, we'll do... Instead of the rotation, we'll do some of this. Yeah, we'll do some of that. And just put a little bit of that craziness in there so you can see it's not 100% bone straight. All right, so getting into the actual painting, I'm going to get rid of the grid here because that's uh, distracting me. And also the camera because we don't need that right now. Um, and the lamp. <laughs> uh, so painting, what we're going to do is with our object selected, we're going to go to object mode and change this to particle edit. Super cool feature here, and I'm going to go ahead and drop down the number of particles just for this specific time, because that's a little much to see what we're painting. Uh, we might turn it down even further like that. It's much easier to see what we're doing when we have a lower amount of particles. So, uh, over on the side here, you can see we have a couple of options. Uh, we have uh, comb, smooth, add, length, pull, cut, and weight. Um, which are some really nice features, but what I'm going to do mainly is I'm going to use the comb tool. I'm going to go and hit 7 on my numpad to go into front, to top facing view, sorry. Um, and uh, we can actually just go ahead and, and comb this stuff back. And it's really the coolest thing ever. You can see how we just go ahead and, and comb this hair 100% um, like we're actually combing hair. And it's really, really cool. Like I said, it's really satisfying. I don't know why. It just is. We go ahead and just pull this up just a little bit. And it's kind of like you're modeling, but it's also kind of like you're like a hairdresser. So uh, <laughs> if, any, if, if any of you ever wanted to be a hairdresser, here's your time. So we're just going to go ahead and pull this back, something about right there. Maybe he was in some wind. Maybe he has a lot of gel in his hair. I don't know. We're going to pull this back. And it's going straight back, kind of like the Joker, I, I suppose. Maybe he runs super fast like Sonic. I don't know. We'll pull that back. So now that's going back. I want to go ahead and pull the stuff on the top to, uh, to the back as well. We'll kind of have a little bit of lift in this, so we'll make it go up and then back down, something like that. Make sure we grab all those hairs there. And we'll pull that down, something like that. And then with this, we'll carry it all the way down. And then we'll push this up into a point. And we'll try and get this as pointy as is possible. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. And, um... Kind of looks like uh, Draken from Kim Possible, but uh, we will go ahead and um, and fix this on up, just like that. And an even cooler thing is, is that let me fix this in the side too. I'm gonna push that together, like that maybe. Yeah, and pull that up a little bit maybe. Yeah, something like that. All right. So if we go out of particle edit, you should see in edit mode now we have our hair 100% combed. And if we go ahead and put uh, our emission uh, back you actually you can actually see we can't do that we can't actually put the number of particles back up so if I go back to uh, free edit I lose all the changes done in particle mode so that's all of the the combing that we had done so uh, like I said if you want to make sure your your hair is the way you want it make sure all the number of particles is set to how you want it all the all the random all the the Bernoulli all that stuff is all set up before you go ahead and start combing because once you do, you're not going to be able to go ahead and edit all that. So I'm going to go ahead and if I disconnect hair um, or connect hair, you can see that it's actually disconnecting it from the uh, the model itself. And if I go ahead and connect hair, then it's uh, it's back connected with the model. There we go. So uh, some really cool stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to free edit mode and turn back up the number of particles to somewhere around 10,000. Um, there's a lot of hair there now. And I'm going to go ahead and model this hair once again. 
with a couple of the other tools. We have uh, add, smooth, and all this other stuff over here. What I want to do is go ahead and turn up the radius, and uh, maybe we can uh, go ahead and change a couple of these. I'll go ahead and I'll use the pull tool. So we go ahead and pull his hair up. Um, we'll just we'll just pull it. We'll pull it and um, pull it up. Maybe straighten out a little bit. Maybe on the sun on the sides there. We're going to get a little bit of lag since we have so many particles going on right now. Um, but that's all right because it's not too bad yet. Not too bad. Uh, we can actually go ahead and change the length. We can pull that on out right there. Maybe we has, he has a couple of, uh, of places that are longer than other places, which is really nice to go ahead and be able to do. We can actually cut a couple of places. So now he has, he, we can actually cut his hair to get it 100%. Maybe we want to give him a high top. Yeah, I mean, now he has a high top. 100%. He's a, he has a high top now. There we go. That's perfect. So we just get rid of all this other stuff because we don't need any of that. We just need the high top. Yeah, that, it's perfect. Um, I'm going to undo that. <laughs> uh, what I can do is go ahead and we can add. Like I said, we can go ahead and add and add. This one takes a little bit of, a little bit of time. Adding particles on the surface, by the way, is what we're doing. You see, it takes a little bit of time. So now he has a hairy face instead. If I go back out of particle adding, you should be able to see it better. Uh, ooh, well, I can't do that. I'll go back out. Uh, there you go. You see right there on the face, he has more hair right there. Um, but we can go ahead and undo that. And uh, length, pull, cut, we looked at all those. And smooth, smoothing out the hair so it's not as rough. Kind of pulling it together a little bit, making it a bit more straight, which is always a nice feature as well. Alright, so we have a little bit of a like comb over style thing. Not really. I mean, he's losing hair on, on, the, on the tippy top sides right there, but for the, for the most part, he's got a lot of hair. So we got the hair on the sides and then the hair on the back going down, which looks really pretty cool. Uh, so that is, that is that right now. We can go ahead and take a look at this rendered, which looks really, really awesome, by the way. Um, just a really, really easy way of, uh, of creating hair and actually getting it to shine through exactly how you wanted it because you can go ahead and hand craft. That, uh, that hairstyle yourself. So I'll go ahead and go back to Cycles Render there. And you can see now we have a really, really nice, um, really, really nice hairstyle going on there. So that is going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Let me know what you want to see down in the comment section, by the way. We've been doing a lot of really awesome stuff lately, really short tips and tricks. Uh, I got for you guys, especially uh, especially with this hair and other things of that nature. So let me know down in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.